I'm Lori Grunin, Senior Editor for CNET, and this is the Sony Alpha SLT A77V. I have to say, I enjoyed shooting with the A77 more than any other camera since the Nikon D7000. It's heavy, especially with the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, which, by the way, has become my favorite Sony lens. But it's weather sealed and well constructed, the grip is comfortable, and it feels well balanced. And with only a few exceptions, it has the controls in the right places. The EVF is a pleasure to use. The camera's packed full of solid features, although it's still missing a couple of key ones. And of course, the photo quality and performance are right where they need to be for its price class, with the bonus of really nice video. The shutter button has a soft but not mushy feel, and it's really easy to get used to the smoothness of having no reflex mirror, because the SLT has a fixed mirror, so there's no reflex mirror to bounce while you shoot. Almost all the back controls are reachable via your right thumb. But maybe it's my lack of gaming experience, but I find most joystick navigation controls on cameras awkward and imprecise to use. That said, it's functional, and I didn't find it excessively profanity-inducing. The EVF is delightfully large and magnified compared with its DSLR competitors, and this type of electronic-level readout is the most effective I've ever used. And for the LCD, Sony created a fairly complicated mechanism to enable the LCD to tilt as well as swivel. It's really useful, though I can never quite get into the position I want fast enough because of all the different twists and turns. Surprisingly, the OLED screens are almost too good. While the technology makes for great TVs because of their super blacks, they make every scene look higher contrast than it is and saturate the colors almost surrealistically. That's kind of a negative on a camera. Plus, the colors on the EVF and LCD don't match each other. Overall, the A77 delivers a solid noise profile for its class, and generally excellent photo and video. If you process RAW, the camera's good up to ISO 3200, and possibly ISO 6400, depending upon subject matter. The dynamic range is fairly broad. Though I experienced more unrecoverable clipped highlights than I like, it does an excellent job with shadow detail. But while the A77 has an option for downsized JPEGs, there's no support for medium or small RAW or RAW Plus JPEGs. That's a key feature for a camera in this class. For shooting video, the A77 does a great job at 1080 Progressive, rendering very nice tones with no noticeable artifacts like moiré or rolling shutter. I attribute part of the enjoyability of shooting video with the camera to the lens. The autofocus works smoothly and quietly but you can only use autofocus in what's essentially an automatic mode. It's unavailable in shutter or aperture priority or manual modes. And I'm not crazy about the automatic gain ISO sensitivity decisions that the camera makes in video mode, or the fact that it lacks any audio controls. The camera's not the fastest in its class, that honor remains with the 7D, and it even lags the Nikon D7000, but it does pretty well considering it's processing so much more image data. The only real performance disappointment is battery life, which is rated at 470 shots, and that's without the GPS active. The new autofocus system seems to work extremely well, and I've always liked Sony's interface for selecting among the focus areas, and the zone focus, which clumps the AF areas in the center left or right, is the only mode I like to use more than simply just leaving it on center spot. As for features, Sony doesn't provide lots of bells and whistles, the GPS for geotagging is probably the wizziest, along with the ability to register up to eight faces for face recognition. But it has an excellent, subtle set of useful capabilities. For instance, you can perform exposure bracketing in either a continuous burst or shot by shot, with up to a five shot bracket. It offers plus or minus five stops of exposure compensation, as well as Sony's three shot auto HDR. And for manual focusing, it has peaking. It's got some annoying quirks and feature lapses, but it's a fast, fluid, fun-to-shoot camera that delivers excellent photos and better than competing DSLR video. I'm Lori Grunin, and this is the Sony Alpha SLT A77V.